Hi guys, it's Dave the Closet Doctor and here is Ellie the Super Dog and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a walk-in closet with Easy Shelf, okay? We're going to put in over here uh, one rod and shelf, long rod and shelf. We're going to put four shelves on the back wall and on the right wall over here we're going to put another rod and shelf. Before we get started, and before we even purchase any of the easy shelves, we've got to get a rough idea of how long your walls are. So this is about, this wall here is about 95 and a half inches. Now an easy shelf, we have a number of different sizes. We have 17 and a half to 27 inch tubes, 28 to 48 inch tubes, 40 to 73 inch tubes, and our longest ones are 64 to 118 inches. So in order not to have to join units together, I've chosen to use the 64 by 118s, which will fit perfectly on these long walls. We're in the closet. We have measured the walls. We're going to open up the easy shelf box. And you can see it's packed very nicely. In each box, you will have a packing slip and it shows each of the items and the quantity of each item that's packed in the box. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure that we have everything in the box that's on this packing slip. We have two left tube receivers and two right tube receivers. Okay, left and right. So we've got the tube receivers. That's a good thing. We're supposed to have six center supports. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Now the center supports we recommend to put up every 36 inches at minimum to give added strength. Since we're only doing 96 inches and not doing 118 or 20 inches, we probably don't need to put a third one in. We'll see how it goes as we're installing. We're also supposed to have 12 tubes, 64 to 118. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 tubes, four packs of anchors and screws, We've got that. Supposed to get a package like this with uh, my picture on the front, uh, templates and instructions. Everything's together. So we have received everything that we're supposed to in this box. Okay, now we're going to go on to measuring and installing. So the most important thing uh, in doing the installation of Easy Shelf is to make sure you're marking the walls with the proper height prior to doing any drilling and putting any anchors in. For a single rod and shelf unit, we recommend to do 72 inches from the floor to the top of the hanging rod, okay? Now, if we were gonna do a double hanging, we would use 40 to 42 inches for the, for the bottom one, and then we would use 80 to 84 inches for the top rod and shelf unit. Here in this walk-in closet, this kit only comes with two rod and shelf units and comes with four shelves. So we're not doing a double hanging in this particular closet. So again, this is the left tube receiver and you're gonna put five tubes up top and the hanging rod is gonna go down here. It's the bottom one, okay? I have a small little level, that's all we need really for doing this job. Okay, so that's, that's level now. And what I'm gonna do is now mark for the anchor holes. In each bag of Easy Shelf anchors and screws, there are 14 anchors and 12 screws. So we give you an extra two anchors in case you screw up. These are state-of-the-art anchors. 
Uh, they're patented, they're made in the United States by Toggler. And um, in my opinion, they're the best. We've tested them all. And these are the best anchors um, out there, period. Okay. Each one is supposedly uh, guaranteed to hold up to like 80 pounds or so. Um, obviously, it's not the anchors that usually have the problem, it's the sheetrock. And so that is the limiting factor is the strength of the sheetrock itself. First thing we're going to do is we're going to just put a little hole in here. Now the interesting thing with these holes is that as we're going in, you may hit a stud or a pipe or something like that, and so you just you're gonna feel for it. And I believe we have some kind of stud or brace in two of these holes, in which case we're not gonna use an anchor and screw, we're just gonna put a screw which has a self-tapping. Uh, end on it, and we're going to put it directly into the, the stutter brace. So now that we put a little hole in the wall, we're just going to use this little drill, and we're going to put in that anchor. You don't want to put too much pressure on that, otherwise the anchor could go right through the drywall, um, and that wouldn't be a good thing. And again, these two holes, there's some kind of stud or bracing behind. So we're just going to use a, a regular um, self-tapping screw. Before we screw the, uh, the final screws in, we're going to put that level on the bracket just to make sure that everything is lined up. When you hear it click, that means the anchor has fully expanded and it's locked in place. And these are the ones that have the stud or bracing behind it. important thing to remember is that on all easy shelf tubes there is a small and a large tube and that corresponds with the left and right side again this is the small tube plug the small tube this is the left tube receiver and you can see that it easily fits into that tube receiver if you try to put the large outside tube into this receiver, it will not fit. However, now we turn it over, this is the large tube, and this is the large right-hand side tube receiver, and it fits in perfectly. Before we just put the, the tube, or try to put the tube into the tube receiver, the thing I, I like to do is just to open it up a little bit, just to make sure that we can, we can open it, right? And um, sometimes it's locked, so you have to untwist it. But the most important thing is these plugs have a very tight friction fit. So what I like to do, instead of just putting the tube in here and trying to muscle it, is I like to put a little liquid soap, or Windex, olive oil, Pam, WD-40 something to give it a little bit of a uh, head start. Okay, and that's it's in, that's in all the way now. Okay, if we didn't if we didn't use that Windex or some kind of something to give it some lubricity, uh, we would have to use some you know some muscle or some, a rubber mallet. Okay. Again, I told you this was going to be a very helpful tool, and it is.
So this has got a magnetic back on it, and so we can actually uh, use that for leveling the tube. Now we're going to put the other tube receiver onto the tube. Um, I either like to spray the plug, or you could even just spray in here into the tube receiver, and it'll make it go in a little easier. Go like so, give it a one little tap, and it's in. So now we're going to pull this out to the other side wall, and we're going to make sure that this is level. That's a key thing. Okay, and that is perfectly level. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to make sure that the end, this uh, tube receiver is level. Okay, so this is now level, the tube receiver. We're going to double check to make sure that our tube is level, which it is. And now we're going to mark the four holes. Okay. Back. And again, we're going to pre drill the holes a little bit. You could use a quarter inch bit instead of the Phillips head. Again, we're going to take our snap screw anchors. I like to get one screw in there just to give it, just to hold it in place. I'm not going to tighten all of them until I double check the alignment and make sure that everything is level. Okay, so checking the, the level of the tube. We're checking the level of the tube receiver. Everything's looking good. So now this is this is all it's all a piece of cake after this. So you see it's level here, and it's also level on that tube receiver. We talked about using some kind of spray or liquid soap to make this easier. So I'm just gonna give it a little zap in there. Okay. That's it. And now we're going to put a little spray on the other side. Okay. And that's all I'm using is Windex right now, just FYI. It sometimes helps, especially when you're doing a, a long 64 to 118, to lock it in place, okay, so that when after you put this in, like so, you can come back here and just use your hand and hit it in. Then what I'll do is I'll untwist it, okay, like so, and put it in like so. We're going to open it up. We're going to lock it in place by twisting it, okay? And then we're gonna put it into the left tube receiver. Just give it a little tap, it's in. Untwist it. And done, okay? Now, what we have is you have the shelf is, is finished, okay? One of the most important things is putting in a center support every 36 inches. Uh, you need that for both the shelf and the rod and shelf to carry the weight. Here to here is about 36 inches. So we're going to put one over here. 
okay? And then for aesthetics, we're going to split the difference, um, and we're going to put this that's about 58. So we're going to we're going to put one about 29 inches, okay? We're going to put the center support up here, and what I like to do is to actually push it up so that I know that it's making full contact with the tubes. Okay, I'm going to put my level on this to make sure it's level. Okay, and then now that it's level, I will mark all of the holes. Again, I'm just using a Phillips head that's already on the power drill. Okay, you don't need to use an actual drill bit if it's sheetrock. Okay, this makes it easier. Now we're going to take the center support, we're going to put it in place, we're going to hand put the screws in just to keep it in place before we tighten it. As you're screwing that screw into the anchor, when it goes all the way in, that anchor will actually click open, and then you know that it's fully engaged. Okay, so there's one center support done. I'm just going to put the center support up like so. I'm going to make sure that this is level. Okay, and I'm also going to give it a little push up to make sure that all the tubes are fully engaged with the center support. I'm going to mark my holes. That goes in so there's nothing behind it. When you're putting these anchors in, important just to press in a little bit, not too hard, and use the power of the drill. Now, if you do happen to get it stuck halfway in, since we do provide you with two extra anchors in each pack, best thing is to get a pair of pliers and just untwist it and put it in again. Okay, so now we've, we've put the anchors in. We have our second set of support. Put it back in. We're gonna hand tighten the screws in just to keep it in place. I'm just going to double check that it's level, which it is. Now we have our two center supports in. The last thing we're gonna do is put in the hanging rod. We wanna open this up a little bit and then tighten it. Just spray a little stuff in there. Give it a little tap. It's all the way in. We're gonna untwist it, extend it. Before we extend it, we're just going to put a little Windex in there, and uh, then I'm going to take our handy dandy towel, clean up the mess. My mother would be very proud of me, and you now have an easy shelf, rotten shelf, installed in a walk-in closet.